first ever video. I'm so happy to be sharing this studio vlog with you all. My name is Aya and I'm a children's book illustrator from the UK. I love to draw cosy scenes with sweet characters and a dash of whimsy and I'm very much inspired by cottagecore, nature, cosy fantasy and of course Studio Ghibli. I'm hoping to share lots of behind the scenes of what it's like being a kid lit illustrator as well as being a small shop owner through studio vlogs like this. I start off the day, like most people, with admin and it usually consists of getting back to art directors that I'm working with, as well as my agents. I'll check to see if I received any new feedback from the publishers and any revisions that may be required. On this particular day, I was replying back to an agent about the details of a potential new project um, in the future. And if you can't tell already, I'm obsessed with tea, so you'll be seeing me drink multiple cups throughout this video. As soon as I'm done with my emails, I usually jump straight into working on client book projects. But this year, I want to be able to spend more time on personal and fun warm-up sketches. And since 2024 is the year of the dragon, I thought it might be quite cute to draw a little dragon. to brainstorm a few different compositions but eventually settled on the idea of having the little dragon poke his finger at some tea leaves floating in a teacup. I later went in and coloured in the sketch a few days later and you can see the sped up version of the colouring process in just a little bit. One of my New Year's resolutions is to be more diligent about reading all of the physical TBR that I own. I've eyed a couple of books though that have been sitting on my bookshelves for far too long and I just don't think I'll be picking them up anytime soon. All four of these books were either books that I found in charity shops 
or from my local letter free library, so I decided to go and drop them all back off as I walked Milk, my furry little dog. to embrace whichever season we're in. In the UK, our January so far has been extremely stormy and the colder winter days are settling in. The sun sets by four in the afternoon and it means that candles become a must for me as soon as the sun starts to go down because I don't enjoy working under harsh light. The same goes for tea. I love to have a cup as I'm working throughout all seasons but in winter when the days are colder and the nights are longer, this is particularly true. Recently, a friend of mine gifted me this glass teapot and I've been loving brewing loose tea leaves and other herbal teas with it. Here I'm brewing a cup of bellflower ginger tea, which is really good for soothing the throat. As I was waiting for the tea to brew, I read a few chapters of 50 Words for Snow by Nancy Campbell, um, which is a book that I enjoy coming back to every winter. It's a non-fiction book about different words for snow from 50 different languages and the different associations, stories, folklore that snow holds across cultures. Each chapter also features a beautiful photo of a unique snowflake. Nancy Campbell refers to one of my favourite quotes from Aristotle. To appreciate the beauty of a snowflake, it is necessary to stand out in the cold.
I'm working on a book about how families are a part of God's incredible plan. The final art is due for the end of January, and the spreads feature both biblical and modern scenes. Here you can see me working on Joseph and his brothers. for joining me. I hope that you were able to wind down a little bit and I look forward to seeing you soon with another cosy video. I wish you all a wonderful winter. Bye!